it sounds strange because it's a sewage works, but it's one of the most beautiful buildings you will ever see. We talk about sort of, you're sitting in Lessness Abbey, which is the obvious one, but just behind us, you've got what used to be the marshlands. Back in early Victorian, you had the problems with the effluent going, all the sewers would empty straight into the river. So one year it gets so bad, they've had to actually shut Parliament, and I think they called it the Great Stink. It was so bad, and you've got outbreaks of cholera. They've got to do something. They employed Joseph Bazalgette, whose great-grandson I now believe is someone very high up in the BBC. But Joseph Bazalgette is tasked with solving the problem of sewage. So they, he literally builds from scratch the entire sewage system of London. They've got a plan how to get the waste into the sewers. They're going to dig up every road. They're going to put the pipes in. This is going to be the biggest engineering job ever. They narrow the river down. They put in the embankment. So as you're walking through central London and you're on the embankment, what you're actually walking on is thousands and thousands of gallons of human. <laughs> yeah, that's under your feet. Very, very glamorous is London. And they're pumping it out and it's got to go somewhere. So they get as far as Crossness, which is a little spot on the river just behind us. And they build these huge pumping stations. And the idea being that this is about as far in at that time as the tide came in and out. So the plan is they're going to pump it down to here into Crossness Sewage Works. And then it gets pumped straight into the river. Untreated, raw sewage, but into the river. And then the tide comes in, tide goes out and the waste slowly, slowly disappears. Fantastic. But that's your history bit of it. But what's left behind is the Crossness pump, pumping stations, which sounds strange because it's a sewage works, but it's one of the most beautiful buildings you will ever see. But it's the sheer scale of the things is amazing. I, I understand there's some of the biggest beam engines that are still working. And the other interesting thing is the names they gave them. So if you said to a modern celebrity, we're going to build a pumping station, and what we're doing is we're going to pump human waste. Wouldn't it be nice, Kate Moss, if we could put your name? We are <laughs> but the pumping stations, they're that proud. One was called, I believe, Queen Victoria. One was called Prince Albert. And these people are going, yeah, yeah, this is fantastic. Put our name on it. <laughs> but if ever you get the opportunity, it's a strange day out, go and have a look, and you'll see, or look at the photos online, and you look at it, and it's just, it's magnificent. As I say, these beautiful big yeah. steam engines, but it's the vibrant colours and they're, they're built with pride. Mm. Yeah, stunning.